Hey everybody, Daniel Rubino here with WP Central, and today I want to show you a quick look at Tweetcaster, yet another Twitter client for Windows Phone. We definitely don't have any shortage of these. Uh, what makes Tweetcaster interesting is they're pretty huge on Android, and so this is their first port over to Windows Phone, and you know, it's actually not bad. It's not the top app, I would say, for Twitter clients, but uh, for one, it's free. You can see it's also ad supported, although they have like dummy ads right there. Um, but it actually loads very quickly, and the scrolling is smooth, so I'll give it that much. Uh, I mean, you still get that little bit of stutter, which is actually part of the OS. Uh, developers can't really do too much about that, but that gets fixed in Mango. But anyways, you can sort of see, um, you know, it's a pretty basic client. So you can open up a tweet, then you have a share by email, translate, you have reply, retweet, no retweet with quotes, so that's important to note. And of course you can favorite it. Go back up here. Oops. There is no live tile, in case you're wondering. I don't know, maybe they'll have a paid version later on. I'm not really sure what their plans are. Here are all the major options you have. Trends, people, drafts. Drafts is kind of nice, so you can save, um, you know, tweets for later if you want to send them out. Uh, you can have multiple account support, which is always nice to have. Uh, your settings, which are pretty basic. You have auto-refresh, interval. You can choose who your... Um, for your pictures, how to upload. Uh, use build-in browser, uh, spell, spelling error there. Uh, and then use the image viewer, which is kind of nice. And that's pretty much it. You can create a new user list if you want. Uh, of course, you can add multiple accounts, including Facebook, which is kind of nice for you Facebook people. So you can actually uh, do all your tweets and Facebook messages all from one app, which is kind of a nice feature. The other cool thing is under, you can see here, messages, it does do threaded conversations, and actually does it very nicely. Um, I mean, pretty nice chat windows, great contrast. And then of course you have your favorites, and lists. That's basically it. So it's a good solid Twitter client, I'll say that much. It doesn't bring anything really new to the table, but the interface is clean, uh, it loads quickly, I haven't had any problems with it, and I kind of like the look of it. And Tweetcaster on Android is actually one of the better Twitter clients there, so there will be an interesting company to watch. And like I said, it's free to, you know, to use, so why not give it a try if you want. I don't think it will displace some of the bigger ones like uh, Rowie or Birdsong or Mo Tweets, but we can see what they'll do. But there you go. It's in the marketplace now. Take care, everybody.